So this is a huge issue, it's a huge consumer issue. There are millions of unsafe cars sold which don't meet the UN basic safety regulations. Those cars wouldn't be sold in regions such as Europe or the United States, but they're sold in weekly regulated markets like in Latin America. There are 1.25 million deaths on the road every year, and many of them are caused by unsafe cars. 90% of the road crash deaths actually happen in low and middle income countries where car use is on the rise. So lives are being put in danger and they're being put in danger by car manufacturers that are exploiting the gaps in weekly regulated markets. Consumers International believes that this has to stop. So we're really proud uh, with our work that we've done with our members and our partners. The, the whole program has been funded by Bloomberg Philanthropies. In Latin America, we designed and delivered a, a region-wide campaign, which is about highlighting the double standards that, that actually exist um, in, this, in this situation, as I say, where, where we've got manufacturers um, basically exploiting uh, weekly regulated markets, and that's been adopted by our members. We did research, uh, which has demonstrated the prevalence of unsafe cars, collected testimonials and put together a really powerful gallery of photos that actually show the impact of unsafe cars. Then we publicly launched that campaign uh, with the Latin New Car Assessment Programme, and the, the purpose of that was really to exert pressure on governments and manufacturers to adopt the basic UN uh, vehicle regulation standards. Um, and we've underpinned all of this with a report which is, uh, which is entitled Safer Cars for Latin America, which we worked on with our members. Um, and what it, uh, in, in Mexico, in Chile, in Argentina, Peru and Brazil. And that report really provides the evidence to show that there are unsafe cars still sold in these weekly regulated markets and that that has to stop. At our global congress in Brazil, our members discussed this issue. Um, and that took place in 2015, at the same time as a high-level ministerial conference on road safety. And we exploited that opportunity and got 92 advocacy letters sent to governments and manufacturers around the world. Um, we've met with car manufacturers from the US, Pakistan, Malaysia. We've provoked debate in countries across the globe. What we're calling on is for governments to adopt the basic UN safety regulations and for manufacturers to act responsibly and comply with those regulations. No, it's not. It happens in other regions where regulation is weak too. Uh, so a good example is India, where we're working with five of our members and we're challenging the Indian government to stick to their 2017 deadline to bring in much stricter regulations. And like in Latin America, Consumers International is helping our members there to engage the public, use CI materials and gather more powerful testimonials. Yes, an exciting part of the Latin American regional campaign is using for the first time our new digital tools. So the new tools provide the opportunity for members to work together across the region and show a weight of numbers, real direct public support for these issues. And this has also helped CI members to get access to using powerful digital tools, perhaps for the first time like this, to help them get their voices heard. Yes, we've made real progress and our members in affected regions will continue campaigning on this. Sadly, this doesn't need to happen. This, we, we, we shouldn't accept this. We know how to reduce this appalling high number of deaths from car safety issues, and we expect governments to take action. So there's still more to be done to ensure that governments and manufacturers do actually deliver on this. And CI members and our partners will continue to lead the way to stop the sale of unsafe cars and to put an end to the dangerous double standards that exist and by doing so, save lives.